Hi folks, this is All The Fruit. I'm in Santa Lucia on the beautiful island of Gran Canaria. And what is Santa Lucia famous for? Well, except for its beautiful countryside and nice old houses, it's famous for its olives. They even have a festival of the olive. Well, olives in the Canary Islands, yeah, basically it's, it's, it's not like a big thing. Most tourists don't really come in contact with it. If you go to basically every place in the Mediterranean, the Spain, uh, Italy, even southern France, Greece, Turkey, Tunisia, Egypt, you all get in contact with a lot of olives, olives being sold, olives being an important part of the culture, olive groves and plantations everywhere, but not on the Canary Islands. However, here around Santa Lucia, you can see thousands of them. Santa Lucia is the traditional place for olive cultivation in Gran Canaria. The problem is, or what um, the problem is, the olive plantations are not as massive as in most Mediterranean countries. So I, I looked for hours where I should do this video. I had actually better places than this one, but I always thought I would get better places with bigger olive trees and so on. But nope. So now I'm doing the video here, basically in the center of the village. Well, yes. So Santa Lucia seems to be the only place with the with a sizable olive cultivation on the island of Gran Canaria. Despite being part of Spain for centuries, the Canary Islands were never encouraged to do a lot of olive cultivation because due to the subtropical climate you could cultivate other things here and you could import the olive from the Spanish peninsula, the olive oil and also the pickled olives. Each island had some olive production for their own consumption. But Santa Lucia seems to be the place in Gran Canaria where this was done on a larger scale. And yeah, I walked here from San Bartolome, over there in the rainy mountains, and saw thousands of olive trees on the way. And I was looking for old ones, but I couldn't find a single one. You know, in the Mediterranean, one meter thick olive trees are not rare. Sometimes you find two meter thick ones. Sometimes on rare occasions, like in southern Italy, you find three meter thick ones. Nope. The thickest I found around here were like about 35 centimeters. And not trees, but rather shrubs. Well, and I never found, and actually I did find a couple areas with beautiful orchards and everything, but did not take the video here. So now I will take it here on this noisy street. Sorry for that, folks, but I'm pretty much at the end of the olive cultivation area. I guess as soon as I start walking after a hundred meters, I'll find the perfect place for the video, but okay. Well, so no big olives here. The tickets are like 35, maybe 40 centimeters. And shrub-like. I don't know if you can see them over there. The olive trees basically have no trunks, but they are big olive shrubs. Why? Why not trees and why are they so small? If this was an area somewhere in the northern Mediterranean, I would have said, nah, frost. <clears throat> they are olive growing areas in Italy, which get hit by frost every 30 to 40 years. And the olive growing areas in Andalusia, as well as the, as the fruit and veg growing areas in most of Spain, were hit by a very severe frost just a couple days ago, and pretty much all the olives froze to the ground. But here we have no frosts. Well, maybe up there in the highest mountains, Pico de las Nieves, yes, but down here at 700 meters, nope. So why are most of them shrubs? Well, this might be a form of cultivation typical for here. Why are they not so thick? The thickest are like 35 or 40 centimeters. Well, maybe because they are not so old. Olives grow very slowly. And for example, there, radiocarbon tests, or was it radiocarbon or dendrochronology? Well, definitely in Malta, there are tests on olives less than two meters thick, which are 2,000 years old. So what can we assume? Old olive trees about one meter per thousand years, then 35 to 40 centimeters would be quite fitting for here, like the European settlement here started like about 600 years ago, so it's, yeah, it's not too uh, illogical to assume that the thickest olives with 35-40 centimeters could be three to 400 years old. That's one idea. 
Another possible reason you can see here, unfortunately I cannot come very close. This is quite an old olive grove. Some of the olives I think have trunks up to 30 centimeters thick. Yeah, so it doesn't get much thicker than that. Well, unfortunately I cannot go there. There is this gorge between me and the olives. But let's say this is one of the oldest olive groves of Santa Lucia. And look at it. Olives are evergreen. If you look at those first, at this first row of trees, well, first there are a lot of black and gray pipes here, those are irrigation pipes. I don't know if for the olives or for other cultures. But look, they are losing their leaves. Leaves are lying on the ground. Here are the bigger trees in the background also. Also over there among the palms, most of the olives are dead or half dead. We had four years of drought. Now we had about less than a week of rain, but if I'm quiet, maybe you can hear the creek running. Well, maybe not over the cars. Well, we had four years of drought and a lot of those olives are dying, just like other things. Look, the cacti, a lot of them are half dead. Here, look at them. Those, are reco those have recovered, but not all of them. Some have died. The agave, some of them have died, but the others have recovered. Even the palms look less than healthy. Even the eucalyptus look less than healthy. So yeah, drought is a big problem here. Can it be that the drought killed a lot of the olives like 100 or 200 years ago? Who can tell me whether they have seen big old olive trees anywhere on the Canary Islands? And why do they think there are no such big trees here? And why do they, and, and why do you think that uh, most of the olive trees on the Canary Islands are more shrub-like. This is, by the way, not the local variety Guanchica, the local endemic subspecies. Those are, this is Olea europea, subspecies europea from Europe. Here you can see from nearby an olive tree which is almost being killed by the drought. So yeah, folks, please tell me why no really ancient olive trees on the Canary Islands. Why do they look shrub-like? And do you think they have been killed by uh, by frost? Well, probably not. Or by or by fire or drought in historic times. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the rainy and pff, right now really icy cold island of Gran Canaria. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.